Hello all and welcome to the Peacocks Podcast, episode four. At this time, I'm joined by Taunton Town first team coach, the Michael Meeker, and their number one between the sticks, Lloyd Irish. How are you both? Yeah, it's the, not the. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, very good. Good. How's your week been? Yeah, good. Um, it's been an exciting week for the. Um, had a little girl, um, Olivia Lilly, uh, which was exciting. So, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, misses at home at the moment, um, struggling to walk, but <laughs> yeah, so um, all good. And uh, Lloyd, yeah, what have you been up to this week? I hear you've been working on the house this morning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been working on the house uh, this morning and all week, so I've been busy with that. Yeah, congrats on uh, your engagement, by the way. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, he's the first new house, is it? Yes, yes, yeah, so it's a project. Okay, cool. Brilliant. We'll start, so uh, we're recording this on Saturday the 9th of November, uh, just before the FA Trophy match against, is it Avely? I, I wanna... believe so. Avely. Avely, okay. And uh, just before the game gets underway, any thoughts on the match? Um, I'd like to think we're uh, going into the game with good confidence. Obviously, they're a league below us, but we can't take that for granted, mm. so... Playing quite well at the moment, so yeah, feeling quite positive. Okay, cool. Meeks, any thoughts? Yeah, just to win, get some money into the club, and uh, you know, go out there with a positive attitude. We've been flying of late, and um, yeah, get get a result. And um, I think they're in the league below, so we should go at them quick uh, and get and get get a, get a win. Definitely. Beautiful. And uh, Lloyd, how's my November going for you? The moment, is it, as um, you can see, it's up. Uh, not very well. <laughs> I've got, uh, it takes a while to Nine grow. Days in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've still got another twenty odd days, so hopefully it'll become a bit more. And obviously, like you know, you're raising money uh, yeah. for you know for what you're doing. Um, and what, why, other than that, have you decided to take part? Um, just for that, really. At work, yeah. we're doing a bit of a charity okay. push, um, trying to get you know raise some money, which obviously raises the profile of our company as well. So um, this month, I decided to give it a go mm. I did it a couple of years ago as well for a charity close to me but this okay. one's more of a generic charity so. and uh, what's your day job again uh, I'm a project manager for okay. water engineering companies so nothing exciting but yeah. pays the bills it does yeah uh, and if you'd like to donate you can go to I believe Taunton Town's uh, social page that we've got on there or your Facebook yes yeah, yeah I've shared on there a few okay, times cool. so. lovely so if you want to donate you can go and do that and Michael uh, how does it feel coming back to Taunton Town after being away yeah, good. Uh, just going back on that, I've uh, donated. It's www.sweetcorn, uh, uh, clean your teeth, uh, dot com um, to donate to, to Lloyd. Yeah, it's nice to be back at Taunton. Uh, beautiful club. Uh, miss the boys. Um, and it's, 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 it's nice to be back. I mean, as I've made it clear to everyone, made a bit of a bit of a cannon up going to uh, Truro um, but um, back here now um, things are things are looking good at the moment and uh, I hope we can push on and, and uh, get out of this league and uh, Lloyd 300 plus appearances for Taunton now uh, what are your thoughts for the future it's quite a broad question but yeah, yeah just uh, well promotion again when I came back five years ago it was uh, my aim was to get into the conference south with Taunton um, we're not far away. We obviously missed out by one point last mm -hmm. year, so hopefully I've got another five or six years in me, and we'll get there in that time. Well, it would it be a failure if we didn't? So yeah. um, I was I was talking about that um, actually in the last episode with um, Dan and Ben and, uh, and Ryan. How how did you feel um, coming out of that penalty shootout uh, against against Paul last season? And, uh... Uh, well, penalty shootouts are a bit of a lottery, really. Mm -hmm. So and the, you know every penalty was good, even the ones we missed hit the woodwork. Yeah. So you know it's, it's a bit unfortunate. You can't really point the finger at anyone for that. Um, and yeah, it's a lottery. It's, we we didn't play well on the night. We could have done it in normal time or in extra time. So you know that that's where we lost it. And and we lost it in the league. Obviously, we we looked to lose by one point. Mm -hmm. Had we beaten Hartley Whitney at home and when we dropped points or something like that, we could have um could have won it before well, before the playoffs. Yeah. So. Well, we go again, I suppose, for this season. Yeah. And uh, so just uh, in both of your opinions, please, who's got the most banter in their dressing room? Let's start with you, Lloyd. Uh, it's probably got to be Meeks, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's uh, there's a, there's a lot of lads. We've got good, 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 uh, good banter in the changing. Which what football's about? You have got to be happy playing football. You have got to go on the pitch with a bit of a buzz. And then as soon as we get on the pitch, everything uh, everything happens. Banter stops, and then hopefully we get a result, and then the banter starts again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 good. It's all it's it's, it's good to have banter. Yeah, definitely. Um, any hobbies outside of the game for you guys at all? Yeah, I, too busy? 
No, I collect um, cr- frogs and cockroaches, um, and um, <laughs> got a lovely, <laughs> lovely, red, lovely, yeah, lovely, yeah, yeah. lovely frog yesterday, and oh, yeah. um, called Gary. And uh, I hope to, I hope to, hope he pushes on. He's that's only a, two weeks old. Name, isn't it, Gary? Yeah, he's a nice frog, um, the frog. and uh, you know, I'm, I'll bring him to a game one day, and then we'll, uh, we, everyone can meet him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Lloyd, any, any questions um, of frogs at all? No, sadly not. Oh. <laughs> so for me, just any sport really, yeah. and golf. Fan questions. Now, uh, lots of fans on social media have said that they love the, uh, the post-match interviews, especially uh, the ones with Meeks, mainly because of uh, your antics on the sidelines, uh, in, in, well, in previous games anyway. Would you say you have a bit of a tendency to, to let loose at all? Or? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got to let loose now and then and fire in all cylinders. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as I say, look, I just love the game, enjoy it. Um, it's no good being uh, serious all the time. You know, we're serious when we get in the change rooms. We're serious when we do all our tactical stuff and and you know. But you've you've got to be happy playing football and and, and enjoy it. Um, otherwise, it's not worth being in it. You know, you want to come to games. You want to. It's a lovely club, Taunton, as well, which we've got a lovely backing staff including yourself and that where it's all it's all done very professional um but yeah i i, I love the game and i love a bit of banter um but yeah i mean you've, you've got the egg in the background now um we can, we can smell him there's a pig just coming here so we need some hay um, this so happened in previous episodes. Yeah. Robert just sort of stormed in. Like, Hi. Yeah, well, he's, I he's, he's, great today. yeah he's, he's, he's just come in. Have and, you got uh, any armies out? I tell you what, what a what a bad parent. Yeah, this is. So I'm, I'm I'm sure this is me and Lloyd's podcast, and, <laughs> and, and, and the gaffer's just come in, but never mind. Um, good. Yeah. Well, so as I was saying, yeah, I do love it. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Uh, and of course, if you want to send in any questions to do with Taunton, you can go to Taunton Town social media pages or email media at tauntontown.com. And last question, guys. Uh, what drives you to be the best you can be? What, what, say that again? Uh, yeah, well, so um, when it comes to you know, things like coaching and football, uh, what drives you? What, you know, what sort of wakes you up in the morning and goes, well, I can, this is the best that I can be, and what makes you do that? Usually my BM gets me, um, that drives me in. Um, but um, no, no, I mean, to, if you're talking about Taunton, I mean, um, to, to get us as high as possible, um, get us out of this league. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a hard league this year, um, have a good cup run. Um, and, and as I always say, just enjoy it. I mean, you won't, you won't get a, I've, I've, you know, since I've been in non-league, you won't get a better non-league club than this. I mean, you've got a fantastic chairman, great staff, um, cracking gaffer who's, who's moving in the di- right direction. Uh, Matt Villis as well, who we work with, absolutely fantastic, doing a fantastic job. And then these boys, uh, Sweet Corn and his crew on the pitch, and Lewis over there, he's. Um, He's been annoying me all for the last few weeks. He ain't been playing, but he's playing today and um, he's deserved it. Um, and, and all the boys at the moment are doing fantastic on the pitch, so all, all keep this going. And Lloyd, any final thoughts at all? Um, yeah, it's similar for me, really. Obviously, it's not just about us on the pitch, it's about everyone off the pitch. So that's, you know, that's what drives us, really. Just uh, all the people putting the hard work yeah. behind the scenes. And it's good to have a few more local lads this year um, Pricey and Shorty backs brilliant it's, that does not, that's not just on the pitch that we um, but they're good to have back it's also you know, for the well local it's always supporters. it's always good to have an Indian international in the side um, because you know it's a, it's a culture game now and having Pricey backs good um, so you know he's been telling us all week about playing for uh, is it India or Turkey under 16s yes he's got to get Turkey over that was, yeah. yeah he's got to get over that um, mm. that's, that was in the past but and then, as I say like we better stop this soon because we need a wet wipe where Lloyd's has been talking on that speaker. It's, it's, it's covered in spit. <laughs> okay, well, congrats on the innuendo, in, in Bingo. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you. Oh, we've got one show. more thing. Yeah. Obviously, we've got Meeks. Um, his nickname's the or Meeks. Yeah. Um, Villis is... Uh, we've got a new nickname for him now. Okay. It's called Beaks because of his big... Beak. Yeah, his massive nose. Yeah. Um, Your words, not mine. Yeah. You know, if it's raining today, you'll see the boys standing under his nose, yeah. but that's not a problem. You've got to get so on with it. It's now Beaks and Meeks. Beaks and Meeks. Yeah. Okay, well, I think on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. And uh, yeah, that Cheers. was the fourth episode of the Peacocks podcast.